Hello, Year 9 students. Um, today I'm going to talk to you um, about GCSE, Art, Craft and Design, GCSE. Um, so let's have a look. Um, now, the course is 100% coursework, really. Um, there's lots of practical outcomes, lots of making opportunities. Um, there's no written exam papers. So everything you do in the um, GCSE course counts towards your overall grade. So that's important to remember. It's really 100% coursework. It's broken down into different units, but you know we, we don't have written exams at the end. Um, you're not tested on knowledge as such. Um, we examine you on your ability to create work. Um, now, in this slide, I'm going to talk a little bit about what kind of practical skills um, you learn. And the first one I'm going to talk about is drawing. Drawing is a really fundamental skill in art and design. Now, drawing can be, um, you know, looking at something and doing an accurate representation of that thing, but it can also be expressive drawing, okay? And there are lots of different materials we can use when we draw, like pencil, charcoal, ink, even paint. Um, and so on, on the presentation, you can see some different materials we might use to draw with. We also, of course, do painting. And generally speaking, we paint with watercolor or acrylic paints. Um, and we also do some printmaking in the course. Now, printmaking is where you can kind of etch into something and then make multiple copies of the same image. Um, we do mixed media. Um, mixed media is where you combine techniques together into one image. So it might be um, an image with drawing and painting on it or a painting with collage mixed into it. So it's where you, you try multiple things in the same piece of work. Um, we also do collage, which is when you cut up um, different bits of paper and you kind of put them back together to create an image. We also try sculpture. Um, sculpture is three-dimensional art. Um, and we can do that with wire work, um, with mod rock, with plaster, and with clay, and papier-mâché. Um, we will also cover photography within your work, um, which is a really important skill in the art GCSE. We work into sketchbooks throughout the course. Um, and so you create, you, you do all your experiments in your sketchbook, you try things out, and then you can create your piece of art. You put your research in your sketchbook, when you research an artist or an idea or you take photos, we generally kind of put it all in the sketchbook. So that's where all your coursework lives. The other great thing about having a sketchbook is if you go on to want to study art at A level or you just want to show people what you can do, you've got it all there for interviews or um, to be able to just show people the, your body of work and what you're about as an artist. So here's some more sketchbooks um, for you to look at. And it's important to remember that, that we encourage a variety of outcomes in art. If you're better at perhaps, you know, more graphical style of art, or you really like working with um, pens as opposed to paint, that will be the route you go down. If you really prefer working three-dimensionally, then you will get a chance to pursue that. It's very important um, that students, you know, pursue the bit they're best at. So we get you to try everything, but then really kind of hone in on, on what you're good at as well. You do get an opportunity to do that. Um, and here I've listed out, you know, some of the other kind of softer skills that we learn in art and design. So, of course, creativity, um, which is a type of problem solving, you know, taking an idea and then seeing different ways to solve that. We think of practical skills. Experimentation is very important in our subjects, you know, trying things out and seeing what you get. Um, research is an important skill. We look at artists and how they tackled ideas and we try to understand them. Being analytical, being able to problem solve and communicate visually. All these things are very important to our subject. And finally, I would say what we teach you in art is the ability to kind of develop an idea, to research it and to present a final outcome. Now, art and design can lead onto all sorts of careers. 
um, not just being an artist. Um, and there are lots of branches to art and design as well. So for example, if you study an art and design GCSE, it can lead you on to an A-level. And past that A-level in art, you can then go on to, into studying an, a variety of things at art school. For example, it can be you know, fashion or shoemaking, hair and makeup, um, computer game design, um, set design, um, designing websites, um, and I've, I've listed, uh, architecture is, is another, um, you know, quite a pathway that people take on from studying art, obviously, alongside things like maths. Um, but art has lots of practical applications in the real world, um, and the design element certainly does um, for people going into design careers. Thank you so much um, for watching my presentation. Um, I look forward um, to those of you applying that want to study the subject. It's a really fun subject. We really enjoy it. And I know the students that are studying it have a really good time. Thank you so much for listening.